Hey everybody, welcome to Heat My Shorts. Today we're revisiting a snack that I reviewed actually almost two months ago to the day. I believe it was February 13th that I tried these tender cactus nopals, nopalitos from La Costeña. And uh, they were really interesting, they were really tasty, really unique, but they had zero heat to them. So if you caught that video, at the end of the video, I added in, I think it was one and a half, maybe two scorpion peppers that we grew in our garden last year. Here's the container of the dried ones. Oh, hello Maggie. Maggie's coming over for a hangout. Let's do that first. Hey, here's Maggie. Yeah, oh, we got the cactus in the way. Yeah, Maggie's being pretty needy this morning, actually. She's prancing back and forth with her toy octopus. I think she really wants to go outside, so as soon as this video is all wrapped up, I think we're going to go outside and water the lawn and take care of some stuff out there. Yeah, Maggie says yes, definitely. So anyways, good girl, Maggie. Yeah, that's a good doggy. Nice to get that. Nice that she comes over on her own to say hello now, eh? So anyways, back to this. We put one and a half or two scorpion peppers in this. It was about two months ago, so... Let's open it back up now and see what we're dealing with. I meant to check on it after a month of it uh, doing its thing, but other exciting things came up. So I immediately I'm taken back to that day that I did the, the review of the Nopalitos. Um, they're very unique. It's like a pickle. Um, and I can actually smell a little bit of what smells like hot pepper in there now. So let's fish one out of there. You can see the stringy goo on it. Okay. Very slight, very, very slight amount of heat. I'm gonna flip the toothpick around and use the other side now. You can actually see, there's a, right at the front there, there's one of the scorpion peppers that I stuck in there. Now my tolerance is quite a bit higher than it was the last time. I mean, last time doesn't matter how high my tolerance was because there was zero heat in it, but I've, I'd say I've increased my tolerance quite a bit in the last two months. So we might even need to hook these up a little bit more, I'll be honest with you. I think I'm just going to grab this one because... Oh, that's nice. Hmm. Um. So here's the thing. I can tell that there's spice in it, but it's not even a 1 out of 10 for me. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that just won't do. Um, I think is what we're going to do here, we're going to put some more things in it. Here are some ghost peppers that we grew last year. Mm. Now, ghost peppers aren't as hot as scorpion peppers, but they have a different kind of a burn, so... Let's see what happens. Put a couple of those in there. Maybe even... Yeah. Stick some ghosts in there, too. You know what? 
Let's really kick it up. Here's some reapers that we grew last year. Tiny little things. I was actually just watching this morning, um, one of our buddies, Robert B, was just eating dried reapers on his channel. They were way bigger than these ones here. That was pretty impressive. He ate two, two full dried reapers and a blast of some kind of tincture. I couldn't tell you what it was off the top of my head. Today is Tincture Tuesday. So he also did, did a blast of tincture there. So here we have two reapers. I mean, they, they might not be matched halves, but a half of a, two halves of a reaper there. And two more halves there. Just mean little things, eh? So let's get those in there too. Two reapers, two ghosts, and now and uh, the two scorpions that were in there before. So I can get the lid back on now. There we go. <laughs> okay. So um, I don't know if I'll do another video um, covering this when I open it up again. Um, let me know in the comment section if you think I should, or or if you want me just to leave another comment down below on this video. Hopefully I'll remember in a month's time. There we go. Nicely shaken up. Still quite a bit of it at the top, I guess, there, but... I'll shake that up more off camera. <laughs> you don't want to watch me shake in a jar for five minutes, do you? Mm. Now we do have um, a tincture time meeting this afternoon in three hours with the Chase the Heat family. Um, I will not be recording this one just kind of going in there to take it easy and, you know, just relax and do some d drops of tincture for sure. So I don't want to overdo it right now, but uh, Robert B's video this morning got me stoked. Actually, it wasn't this morning. Maybe it was. It's only one o'clock now. So you inspired me, Robert. I'm going to eat a Reaper. I grew this one last year. It's way smaller than the ones you ate. Um, a couple hours ago, but hey, whatevs, right? Cheers, everybody. Keep my sh shorts. This is actually, this will be the first time I've ever eaten a full, um, I'm going to call this a full reaper because they're not match halves, but it is two halves of two different reapers. So I'm going to go ahead and say this is the first time I've ever eaten a full reaper, one, one reaper. I've eaten little slivers, you know, throughout an evening, and I've probably eaten a full reaper in one of those tubes of terror, but... I'm holding a Carolina Reaper in my hands right now, and let's get this done. Cheers, everybody. Keep my shorts. Just like Reaper. has a kind of a floral taste to it. Um, not bitter, but just like flowers, kind of, almost like fabric softener. Mm. It's kind of all stuck in my gums and my mouth. Stuck between my teeth. The heat's not overwhelming. But it is creeping in. I'd say right now, I'm at a, a two or a three. Um, mostly right on the tip of my tongue. Creeping down the throat a little bit. Not too bad. I can actually feel it in my chest a little bit. Just like 
not cramps, but a little bit of warmth, just like right in this general area. Ears are getting warm. Yeah, a little bit of forehead sweat happening. Upper lip sweat. Tongue burn just increased quite a bit. Hmm. I'm up to a, a three now, maybe. A little bit of excess saliva there. Pardon me. Now it seems to be warming up more in the chest than anything. A little bit of uh, throat burn creeping in now. Hmm, not bad. I would say I've definitely increased my tolerance quite a bit. Because last year, at the end of the year, yeah, I was eating a Reaper, tiny, tiny little slivers at a, at a time. It would take me an entire evening to eat a reaper on my first year of um, eating spicy things. I'm not saying it's not spicy, but I did also, like an hour ago, I did like a little drop of that um, De Bomb The Final Answer stuff again. Um, I think I did state in that video that I will be using that hot sauce, that extract sauce, as a tolerance builder. I'm basically just doing a drop or two of it every day little bit of a suffer session through it and uh, build my tolerance. Gonna be um, doing more tubes of ter terror. I'm not done with it yet. Um, my funds have slowed down quite a bit, but I do have a few because I ordered a few when I had money, luckily. And uh, actually just this morning I went through, through and um, just kind of made a bit of a schedule for the videos. And um, I have about a month and a half worth of um, review reviewable content if I do a video a day. Um, so that's kind of the goal. I like doing a video a day. Um, any more than that, it just gets to be too much work. And uh, any less than that, and I miss you all. So I really appreciate all of the, uh, all the support. Um, a couple of really good friends of mine have really been encouraging me, supporting me, liking every video. Um, Good friends of mine, um, Kendi, I want to give a huge shout out to you. You're awesome. You've been liking every video. Um, Jesse, Trav, um, my sweetheart, um, Rhett, Grizzly Heat Griffin, Joe from Heating Up, Robert B, The Pepper Apprentice, David Martin, Johnny Scoville, Tommy Scoville, um, there's so many of you. Debbie Bartram, um, Jason Collins, always awesome, awesome comments, awesome rhymes, um, Charlie Mullins, James J, you are all so awesome. Dan, Dan Morrison, that's your, that's your YouTube name, so I can say that. Um, all of you. Anyone that's watching this video, thank you so much. Um, I'd say this burn has leveled off now. I'm back down to a one now. Tiny, tiny bit of a tongue sting now. Nothing really in the chest or in the throat. Maybe a one in the throat still. Not so bad at all. But, I'm gonna put these back in the fridge. Wait another month or so. Hopefully not forget this time. Actually, I should work it into my schedule, because I didn't. <laughs> well, I guess I didn't plan on putting more in here this, this video. But here we are. So anyways, tender cactus Napolitos, doctored up, wasn't quite enough, so we stuck some more in there, got some more hot peppers in there. All super hots. Oh, look, look, look at that, little tear going down there, isn't that nice? <laughs> so anyways, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and leave a comment down below, I love reading through your comments. I'm actually caught up on my comments right now, that's pretty exciting. I was way far behind. I was over a week behind on answering comments. But as of right now, I think I have answered every comment in in every video of mine. So that's pretty awesome. It feels pretty good to be caught up. Anyways, I'm going to end this video here. We're coming up on 15 minutes. Way longer than expected once again. This has been Keep My Shorts. I love you all. Cheers.